Ethylene diamine-tetraacetic acid EDTA, also known by several other names, is a chemical originating in multiseasonal plants with dormancy stages as a lipidopreservative which helps to develop the stem, currently used for both industrial and medical purposes. It was synthesized for the first time in 1935 by Ferdinand Munz. It is an aminopolycarboxylic acid and a colorless, water-soluble solid. Its conjugate base is ethylene diamine tetraacetate. It is widely used to dissolve limescale. Its usefulness arises because of its role as a hexadentate. Six-toothed ligand and chelating agent, i.e., its ability to sequester metal ions such as Ca2 and Fe3. After being bound by EDTA into a metal complex, metal ions remain in solution but exhibit diminished reactivity. EDTA is produced as several salts, notably disodium EDTA and calcium disodium EDTA. Uses Industry In industry, EDTA is mainly used to sequester metal ions in aqueous solution. In the textile industry, it prevents metal ion impurities from modifying colors of dyed products. In the pulp and paper industry, EDTA inhibits the ability of metal ions, especially Minnesota 2 Plus, from catalyzing the disproportionation of hydrogen peroxide, which is used in chlorine-free bleaching. In a similar manner, EDTA is added to some food as a preservative or stabilizer to prevent catalytic oxidative decoloration, which is catalyzed by metal ions. In soft drinks containing ascorbic acid and sodium benzoate, EDTA mitigates formation of benzene, a carcinogen, the reduction of water hardness in laundry applications and the dissolution of scale in boilers both rely on EDTA and related complexants to bind Ca2+, Mg2+, as well as other metal ions. Once bound to EDTA, these metal centers tend not to form precipitates or to interfere with the action of the soaps and detergents. For similar reasons, cleaning solutions often contain EDTA. In a similar manner EDTA is used in the cement industry for the determination of free lime and free magnesia in cement and clinkers. The solubilization of Fe3 plus ions at or below near neutral pH can be accomplished using EDTA. This property is useful in agriculture including hydroponics. However, given the pH dependence of ligand formation, EDTA is not helpful for improving iron solubility in above neutral soils. Otherwise, at near neutral pH and above, iron 3 forms insoluble salts, which are less bioavailable to susceptible plant species. Aqueous Fe edta minus is used for removing scrubbing hydrogen sulfide from gas streams. This conversion is achieved by oxidizing the hydrogen sulfide to elemental sulfur, which is non-volatile. 2 Fe edta minus plus H2S2 Fe edta 2 minus plus S plus 2 H plus in this application, the iron 3 center is reduced to its iron 2 derivative, which can then be reoxidized by air. In similar manner, nitrogen oxides are removed from gas streams using Fe edta 2 minus. The oxidizing properties of Fe edta minus are also exploited in photography, where it is used to solubilize silver particles. EDTA was used in separation of the lanthanide metals by ion exchange chromatography. Perfected by F. H. Spedding et al. in 1954, the method relies on the steady increase in stability constant of the lanthanide EDTA complexes with atomic number. Using sulfonated polystyrene beads and Cu2 as a retaining ion, EDTA causes the lanthanides to migrate down the column of resin while separating into bands of pure lanthanides. The lanthanides elude in order of decreasing atomic number. Due to the expense of this method, relative to countercurrent solvent extraction, ion exchange is now used only to obtain the highest purities of lanthanides, typically greater than 99.99%. Medicine A specific salt of EDTA, known as sodium calcium editate, is used to bind metal ions in the practice of chelation therapy, such as for treating mercury and lead poisoning. It is used in a similar manner to remove excess iron from the body. This therapy is used to treat the complication of repeated blood transfusions, as would be applied to treat thalassemia. Dentists and endodontists use EDTA solutions to remove inorganic debris smear layer, and lubricate the root canals and endodontics. This procedure helps prepare root canals for obturation. 
Furthermore, EDTA solutions with the addition of a surfactant loosen up calcifications inside a root canal and allow instrumentation canal shaping and facilitate apical advancement of a file in a tight or calcified root canal towards the apex. It serves as a preservative, usually to enhance the action of another preservative such as benzylconium chloride or thiomersal, in ocular preparations and eye drops. In evaluating kidney function, the chromium-3, complex, CR, EDTA, minus, as radioactive chromium-51, 51, 51 CR, is administered intravenously and its filtration into the urine is monitored. This method is useful for evaluating glomerular filtration rate, GFR, in nuclear medicine. EDTA is used extensively in the analysis of blood. It is an anticoagulant for blood samples for CBC, FBEs, where the EDTA chelates the calcium present in the blood specimen, arresting the coagulation process and preserving blood cell morphology. EDTA is a slime dispersant, and has been found to be highly effective in reducing bacterial growth during implantation of intraocular lenses IOLs. Alternative medicine some alternative practitioners believe EDTA acts as an antioxidant, preventing free radicals from injuring blood vessel walls, therefore reducing atherosclerosis. These ideas are unsupported by scientific studies, and seem to contradict some currently accepted principles. The US FDA has not approved it for the treatment of atherosclerosis. Cosmetics in shampoos, cleaners, and other personal care products, EDTA salts are used as a sequestering agent to improve their stability in air. Laboratory applications In the laboratory, EDTA is widely used for scavenging metal ions. In biochemistry and molecular biology, ion depletion is commonly used to deactivate metal dependent enzymes, either as an assay for their reactivity or to suppress damage to DNA, proteins, and polysaccharides. In analytical chemistry, EDTA is used in complexometric titrations and analysis of water hardness or as a masking agent to sequester metal ions that would interfere with the analyses. EDTA finds many specialized uses in the biomedical laboratories, such as in veterinary ophthalmology as an anticollagenase to prevent the worsening of corneal ulcers in animals. In tissue culture EDTA is used as a chelating agent that binds to calcium and prevents joining of cadherins between cells, preventing clumping of cells grown in liquid suspension, or detaching adherent cells for passaging. In histopathology, EDTA can be used as a decalcifying agent making it possible to cut sections using a microtome once the tissue sample is demineralized. EDTA is also known to inhibit a range of metallopeptidases. The method of inhibition occurs via the chelation of the metal ion required for catalytic activity. EDTA can also be used to test for bioavailability of heavy metals in sediments. However, EDTA may influence the bioavailability of metals in solution, which may pose concerns regarding its effects in the environment, especially given its widespread uses and applications. Side effects EDTA exhibits low acute toxicity with LD50 rat, of 2.0 g per kilogram to 2.2 g per kilogram. It has been found to be both cytotoxic and weakly genotoxic in laboratory animals. Oral exposures have been noted to cause reproductive and developmental effects. The same study also found that both dermal exposure to EDTA in most cosmetic formulations and inhalation exposure to EDTA in aerosolized cosmetic formulations would produce exposure levels below those seen to be toxic in oral dosing studies. Synthesis the compound was first described in 1935 by Ferdinand Munz, who prepared the compound from ethylene diamine and chloroacetic acid. Today, EDTA is mainly synthesized from ethylene diamine, 1, 2 diaminoethane, formaldehyde, and sodium cyanide. This route yields the sodium salt, which can be converted in a subsequent step into the acid forms. 
H2NCH2CH2NH2 plus 4CH2O plus 4NACN plus 4H2O sodium oxide CCH2 2NCH2CH2NCH2CO2 Na 2 plus 4NH3 sodium oxide CCH2 2NCH2CH2NCH2CO2 Na 2 plus 4HCl HO2CCH2 2NCH2CH2NCH2 CO2 H 2 plus 4 Now this process is used to produce about 80,000 tons of EDTA each year. Impurities cogenerated by this route include glycine and nitrolotriacetic acid, they arise from reactions of the ammonia coproduct. Nomenclature to describe EDTA and its various protonated forms, chemists distinguish between EDTA4-, the conjugate base that is the ligand, and H4-EDTA, the precursor to that ligand. At very low pH very acidic conditions, the fully protonated H6-EDTA-2 plus form predominates, whereas at very high pH or very basic condition, the fully deprotonated EDTA-4- form is prevalent. In this article, the term EDTA is used to mean H4 minus Ztax minus, whereas in its complexes EDTA4 minus stands for the tetraonian ligand. Coordination chemistry principles In coordination chemistry, EDTA4 minus is a member of the amino polycarboxylic acid family of ligands. EDTA4- usually binds to a metal cation through its two amines and four carboxylates. Many of the resulting coordination compounds adopt octahedral geometry. Although of little consequence for its applications, these octahedral complexes are chiral. The cobalt-3 anion Co EDTA- has been resolved into enantiomers. Many complexes of EDTA4- adopt more complex structures due to either the formation of an additional bond to water, i.e. seven coordinate complexes, or the displacement of one carboxylate arm by water. The iron-3 complex of EDTA is seven coordinate. Early work on the development of EDTA was undertaken by Gerald Schwarzenbach in the 1940s. EDTA forms especially strong complexes with Minnesota 2, Cu 2, Fe 3, Pb 2, and Co 3. Several features of EDTA's complexes are relevant to its applications. First, because of its high density, this ligand has a high affinity for metal cations. Fe H two O six three plus plus H four EDTA Fe EDTA minus plus six H two O plus four H plus KEQ equals one thousand twenty five point one. Written in this way, the equilibrium quotient shows that metal ions compete with protons for binding to EDTA because metal ions are extensively enveloped by EDTA. Their catalytic properties are often suppressed. Finally, since complexes of EDTA4- are anionic, they tend to be highly soluble in water. For this reason, EDTA is able to dissolve deposits of metal oxides and carbonates. The pKa values of free EDTA are 0, 1.5, 2, 2.66, deprotonation of the four carboxyl groups, and 6.16, 10.24, deprotonation of the two amino groups. Environmental fate Abiotic degradation EDTA is in such widespread use that questions have been raised whether it is a persistent organic pollutant. While EDTA serves many positive functions in different industrial, pharmaceutical and other avenues, the longevity of EDTA can pose serious issues in the environment. The degradation of EDTA is slow. It mainly occurs abiotically in the presence of sunlight. The most important process for the elimination of EDTA from surface waters is direct photolysis at wavelengths below 400 nanometers. Depending on the light conditions, the photolysis half lives of iron 3 EDTA in surface waters can range as low as 11.3 minutes up to more than 100 hours. Degradation of feedtha, but not EDTA itself, produces iron complexes of the triacetate, ED3A, diacetate, ETA, and monoacetate, EDMA, 92% of ETA and EDMA biodegrades in 20 hours while ED3A displays significantly higher resistance. Many environmentally abundant EDTA species, such as Mg2+, and Ca2+, are more persistent. 
Biodegradation In many industrial wastewater treatment plants, EDTA elimination can be achieved at about 80% using microorganisms. Resulting byproducts are ED3A and aminodiacetic acid IDA, suggesting that both the backbone and acetyl groups were attacked. Some microorganisms have even been discovered to form nitrates out of EDTA but degrade optimally at moderately alkaline conditions of pH 9.0-9.5. Sevral bacterial strains isolated from sewage treatment plants efficiently degrade EDTA. Specific strains include Agrobacterium radiobacter ATCC 55002 and the sub-branches of proteobacteria like BNC1, BNC2, and strain DSM 9103. The three strains share similar properties of aerobic respiration and are classified as gram-negative bacteria. Unlike photolysis, the chelated species is not exclusive to iron in order to be degraded. Rather, each strain uniquely consumes varying metal EDTA complexes through several enzymatic pathways. Agrobacterium radiobacter only degrades Fe3 EDTA while BNC1 and DSM 9103 are not capable of degrading iron 3 EDTA and are more suited for calcium, barium, magnesium and manganese 2 complexes. EDTA complexes require dissociation before degradation. Alternatives Interest in environmental safety has brought up concerns about biodegradability in aminopolycarboxylates such as EDTA. For example, under the 28-day ISO 7827 test Austrian paper and pulp industries must use chelating agents that have biodegradation levels over 70% or 80% after 28 days. An increased interest in safety has led to the development and research of alternative chelating ligands which can still bind strongly to metal ions but also have a higher biodegradability and a lower content of nitrogen. Aminodesucinic acid, IDS Commercially used since 1998, aminodesucinic acid, IDS, biodegrades by about 80% after only 7 days. IDS binds to calcium exceptionally well and forms stable compounds with other heavy metal ions. In addition to having a lower toxicity after chelation, the production of IDS is environment friendly. Specifically, IDS is degraded through the use of IDS epimeris and C-N lyase found in Agrobacterium tumefaciens BY6, which can be harvested on a large scale. Additionally, the reactions catalyzed by both enzymes do not require any cofactors and can thus be applied directly. Polyaspartic acid Polyaspartic acid, like IDS, binds to calcium and other heavy metal ions. It has a higher value of 7.2 MeQ per gram than does EDTA, which only has 6.0 MeQ per gram. While it has a higher theoretical capacity, in practical applications it exhibits low efficiency in lower ion concentration solutions. It has many practical applications including corrosion inhibitors, wastewater additives, and agricultural polymers. A polyaspartic acid-based laundry detergent was the first laundry detergent in the world to receive the EU flower ecolabel. Ethylene diamine N, in disucinic acid, EDS. As a structural isomer of EDTA, ethylene diamine N, in disucinic acid, EDS, can exist as three isomers, S, S, R, S, S, R, and R, R, but only the S, S isomer is readily biodegradable. EDS exhibits a surprisingly high rate biodegradation at 83% in 20 days. Biodegradation rates also varies the different metal ions chelated. For example, the complexes of lead and zinc with EDS have relatively the same stability but the lead complex is biodegrades more efficiently than the zinc complex. As of 2002, EDS has been commercially prominent in Europe on a large scale with an estimated demand rate increase of about 15% each year. Methylglycinediacetic acid, MGDA Methylglycinediacetic acid, MGDA, is produced from glycine. MGDA has a high rate of biodegradation at over 68%, but unlike many other chelating agents can degrade without the assistance of adapted bacteria. 
Additionally, unlike EDS or IDS, MGDA can withstand higher temperatures while maintaining a high stability as well as the entire pH range. As a result, the chelating strength of MGDA is stronger than many commercial chelating agents. L-glutamic acid N, N-diacetic acid, tetrasodium salt, GLDA. Aminopolycarboxylate-based chelates control metal ions in water-based systems. Methods of detection and analysis The most sensitive method of detecting and measuring EDTA in biological samples is selected reaction monitoring capillary electrophoresis mass spectrometry SRMCE per mega Siemens, which has a detection limit of 7.3 ng per milliliter in human plasma and a quantitation limit of 15 ng per milliliter. This method works with sample volumes as small as 7 to 8 nanoliters. EDTA has also been measured in non-alcoholic beverages using high-performance liquid chromatography (HPLC) at a level of 2.0 micrograms per milliliter. References. External links. The MEROPS online database for peptidases and their inhibitors, EDTA EDTA, Molecule of the Month EDTA Determination of Total Water Hardness Oviedo, Claudia, Rodriguez, Jamie 2003. EDTA, The Chelating Agent Under Environmental Scrutiny. Quimica Nova, 26 6, 901-905 doi 10.1590 s0100404220030060000 Oviedo, Claudia, Rodriguez, Jamie 2003 EDTA The Chelating Agent Under Environmental Scrutiny Quimica Nova 26 6 901 to 905 Doi 10.1590 s0100404220030060000.